What's Crypto Yield Farming? And how do you grow crypto? Yield farming is a cryptocurrency investment strategy that holds out the hope of bigger returns than most conventional investments are offering these days. It could be a chance for the bull to win big or for the holders of new currencies to manipulate prices. What is yield farming? When you deposit money in a bank, you're effectively making a loan, for which you get interest in return. Yield farming, also known as yield or liquidity harvesting, involves lending cryptocurrency. In return, you get interest and sometimes fees, but they're less significant than the practice of supplementing interest with handouts of units of a new cryptocurrency. Really? It may sound strange, but you have to remember that unlike established currencies that have lots of money in circulation, cryptocurrencies have to perform a tricky balancing act to grow. A new currency only has value if enough people use it. So there's an incentive to issue new units to grow a user base. But flooding the market would make the currency less valuable. So how does it work? First, do you know what a DAP is? That's shorthand for a decentralized app. Ethereum co-founder Vitalik Buterin explains the concept through this analogy. If Bitcoin is a pocket calculator, platforms with dApps are smartphones, but ones on which automated programs run without a central operating system or server. Many of them make use of the Ethereum blockchain, a digital ledger. The most basic approach is to lend digital coins, such as DAI or Tether, through a dApp such as Compound, which then lends the coins to borrowers who often use them for speculation. Interest rates vary with demand, but for every day's participation in the Compound service, you get new comp coins as well as interest and other fees. What is the SEC doing? In September, Coinbase Global Incorporated said the agency threatened to sue if the exchange lets customers earn interest on some digital tokens. At issue is Coinbase Lend product, which had not yet been open to investors, but promised to let them earn 4% annually by lending out their USDC virtual tokens. USDC, which is offered by a consortium of firms including Coinbase, is a stablecoin a fast-growing corner of the crypto market that allows traders to easily convert their digital assets into cash and vice versa. What other kinds of coins are involved? Compound, which was launched in June, is one of the largest such services and currently has about $11 billion in funds, according to tracker DefiPulse. Other major players in this game are Balancer, Synthetix, Curve and Run. Synthetix pioneered the idea. Today, these services hold more than $90 billion in locked user funds, which are funds that are used in lending. What are the risks? Beyond regulatory crackdowns there's theft for one. The digital money you lend out is effectively held by software, and hackers seem to always be able to find ways to exploit vulnerabilities in code and make away with funds. Some coins that people are depositing for yield farming are also only a few years old at most, and could potentially lose their value, causing the entire system to crash. What's more, early investors often hold large shares of reward tokens, and their moves to sell could have a huge impact on token prices. What else could go wrong? Many high-yield harvesting strategies also carry the risk of liquidation. To maximize returns, many users are adapting complex strategies. For example, some investors have been depositing DAI tokens into Compound, then borrowing DAI using initial tokens as collateral, then lending out the borrowed funds. The idea is to get a greater portion of the allocated rewards. What's new about this? People have been able to earn interest by lending their cryptocurrencies for several years through apps like BlockFi, as part of a trend of decentralized finance, or DeFi, in which middlemen like banks are replaced with the automated protocols of dApps. What's different about new ventures like Compound are the tokens handed out to lenders and borrowers, often with implied future rights to cash flows. What about market manipulation? When someone who has lent a cryptocurrency through a DeFi service like Compound then borrows it back, they're creating artificial demand for the coins and thereby inflating the coins' prices. That's raised concerns that early adopters who have accumulated large holdings, often called whales, are manipulating price movements, a common accusation in a range of crypto markets. Why did this get so hot right now? A couple of reasons. Amid the COVID-19 pandemic, all cryptocurrencies generally viewed as an uncorrelated asset in the long term have seen a surge of interest in light of high volatility in many traditional assets. What's more, many of the yield harvesting products only debuted this summer, 
offering highly attractive tokens as rewards and boasting of high-profile backers like Andreessen Horowitz and Polychain.